Hi fellow reefers, uh, today I thought I'd do a video, a short video in reference to test kits. Which ones do I use and basically what's out there? Uh, well, uh, you have API, you have Elios, you have Sally Fur, as you notice here, uh, Instant Ocean, you have tons of test kits. Now API, I'm not saying that the other test kits are bad or, in, or you know inferior. What I'm saying is, for instance, API will test your water in a broad range uh, within target. But what I mean is that when you test your saltwater tanks uh, with the API test kits, what you're going to get is an average reading of your, uh, let's say, your ammonia, your magnesium, uh, uh, your uh, pH, whichever. You, you're going to get an average uh, reading. It's not going to be just as accurate. Now, the one... Uh, the one test kit that I use, as you notice here, is Salifer. I've been using Salifer for many, many years. Why? Because I believe uh, that they're very accurate, except for the phosphate. The phosphate test kit, I have done my research, and yes, for the phosphate, you really should use the HANA checker. The HANA checker is very accurate when it comes to phosphate readings, uh, as opposed to the Salifer. Uh, if you do compare, uh, the HANA checker will be a more accurate reading when it comes to phosphates. These are the test kits that I have used for many, many years, like I said before. What I do uh, when it comes to testing, uh, one day I'll do the first three sets of kits that you see here. I'll do like the pH, I'll do the ammonia and the nitrates. Then the following day I'll go ahead and do the magnesium, the alkalinity, uh, the calcium, that's what I'll do. I usually split it in uh, uh, two days. Uh, when it comes to testing, to be honest with you, I don't test as much. And why do I do not test as much? Well, because uh, when you have a reef tank and, or, or simply a, a saltwater uh, tank with fish, you get to know your, your animals, the organisms. And uh, in my case, in this nanocube, uh, I get to uh, recognize and to know the behavior of the animals that I have there. So if I do my regular water changes, which I usually do, and I uh, look at the organisms and they see their opening, flourishing, and all that, I am not going to go ahead and, and test. I usually test, let's say, like once every two or three weeks, you know, but if I see that, uh, let's say, the torch coral, or an ACAN that I have there or something, they're not opening as much, I observe them. And if I see that by the second or third day, they really aren't opening that much, then that's when I go ahead and test. But other than that, knowing your organisms, trust me, you don't have to be constantly checking, checking, checking. Not unless if you're cycling the tank at the beginning, then yes, you have to know where your ammonia is, where your nitrites and your nitrates are, and how they peak up and then they go down and the tank is cycled. But once your water is what they call aged, uh, that's it. And, and you, you know your organisms, you know your animals, and they're opening correctly and all that has, you know, like you have seen them open. You do not need to be testing every week, every other day. Just when you see something that's not kosher, then you go ahead and check. That's basically, uh, in a nutshell, how I uh, uh, touched the topic when it comes to test kits in how I uh, go ahead and do them, whether I should do them, uh, or whether I can just wait and see, just for argument's sake, where my parameters are. I do want to thank you for uh, taking this moment and checking my uh, channel. And if you liked uh, this video, just hit the like button. And if so, just go ahead and subscribe to my channel, Eddie's Reef Aquarium. And I do want to thank you very much. You have a nice day. Thank you. See you.